So today is April 2nd of 2020, and I don't need to say what's all, what is going on right now. I don't even want to talk about it. So anyway, because I'm home, I'm staying home, and I have other family members staying home, I thought I'd look at this item. I saw it on Amazon. I thought it was great. It was, I think, $87 or $89. It's back up to over $100. And um, it only had two or three reviews. It was kind of 50-50 reviews. Um, but I like the option of really putting it away and putting it to the side if you live in an apartment or a small area. And if it works, it's great. I love it. They talked about the seat being uncomfortable, which is fine with me. These seats tend to be very uncomfortable and you get that pain in your um, uh, the backbone. And uh, what I do usually is buy one of those cushions, which I did buy, which coming in, it's coming in, I believe, tomorrow. So I'll have that to cover the seat for this item. That will allow me to stay on it longer. So let me open it up. My son is helping me. It comes in this really big box. Let me just measure the box. So the box itself measures 30 inches wide, 28 inches tall, and nine and a half inches thick. It's really heavy, it's about 50 pounds, 50 plus pounds. Let's take the top off. Uh, gotta cut that. Okie dokie. All right, now let's turn it sideways. So, okay, we've turned it sideways. And we'll get a better view of the item as we unpack it. Lots of cushion. Can you help me pull in the box, please? Uh-oh. Is that supposed to... Okay, let me... Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Nothing else in the box. Let me put the box. Let me just show you the box. There's really nothing to the box. It's just brown. There's nothing here at all. Let me put it to the side. So this is the top. Let me just bring it closer so you can see a better view of the top. Sorry, my cable was in the way. Um, and let's just show everything one by one. The first thing you got to, so let me see, let me cut everything off. what this is I'm just gonna fast forward the unpacking part well you don't want to me I don't want to really do that I just want to show off the parts I try to rush as much as I can so this is one piece you know let's say you're missing a piece you'll know what pieces you're missing okay let me see what that is my son giving me the pedals is the right one, is the left These one. are the pedals right here. And put that to the side now. These are the instruction manual, which I actually read. Hold on one moment. Which I read sometimes. I'll have this at the end. Uh, it'll let us know uh, how to. Okay, this is the manual itself. We'll show. We'll have this at the end. The table. The table, man, this is a hefty table, huh? Pretty hefty, really heavy. Wow. I don't know how much the item is. Well, the total item is 50 pounds, so it's a pretty heavy item. I'm hoping it's as heavy, heavy duty as it is heavy. This tools and stuff. 
Let me open everything up. Uh, hold on one moment. These are these tools. Um, okay, so wait, hold on. We did the left, now let's do the right. These are the wheels. I'm hoping to replace these wheels with the uh, roller blade type. Hold on one moment, hold on, hold on. With the roller blade, here, roller blade type wheels. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'm hoping I could because I don't like these wheels. They tend to scratch wood floors and I have wood floors and this will scratch up the wood floors like uh, crazy. It has little brakes here. This is a close up of the item. How many of them have brakes? All of them? I think it's just one. Yeah, two. just one. Oh, two. Nice so that one, that, okay. Yeah. So these two have the brakes on them. These two have the regular wheels. Hold on one moment, hold on. All right, let me put that to the side. Hold on one moment. I'm gonna lift it up and you pull that side out. Okay, that one's about to take this side out the way. The tape is still, get the scissors and cut this. Cut this tape underneath it. Okay, do the same over there. I don't want to destroy the packaging just in case I have to return it, which I hope I don't have to do. It supports, I think, about 250 pounds. I'll confirm that below. Ready? This is the unveiling, hold on. Okay, so now let's do the unveiling. Ready, pull that. No, 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 oh, that doesn't come off. Hold on one moment. That's Just pull off the plastic for now. Oh, wow. This thing's small. That's why I purchased it. Because it's tiny. I didn't know it would be that tiny. It's tiny. Okay. Uh, this is the actual item. This is the seat. People were complaining about the seat being really, really uncomfortable. So let me do an overview of the top. Um, close up. That's the pedal area right there. Uh, those are all the different settings for the item, which we will show. That's the seat. Let me measure the seat. So the, the seat is really, can you get the measuring tape please? And that piece of tape, oh, I think so I can throw that away. So the seat itself, uh, it's about 11 inches long and it's weirdly shaped. So in the front, it's about almost four inches. The back is oh, six inches. Pretty hard. It's thick, about two inches thick. I can't imagine, none of these seats, even at the gym, are very comfortable. So I, I have an, an item, uh, another uh, exercise bike that I'm looking to replace. I did a video on it and it's a lot larger. It's at another location. I'm actually looking to switch both of them because at this place, it's easier to store that. Whereas in the apartment, this would be easier to use since I can just put it to the side which would be great. And doesn't take up much, doesn't look like it takes up much room. This doesn't look like this much. So let me just turn it straight up. And can you hold this up, son? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. So this is pretty much everything that comes inside of it. This is everything inside. There's absolutely Nothing else.
there is absolutely nothing else. And the instruction manual. So it no, don't do that. Yeah, because we don't we haven't read the instructions oh. to see uh, what we're supposed to do. So my son's turning the thing there. And uh, okay, let me. Uh, Shall I install the pebbles? No, not yet, not yet. So this is an overview of the item. Let me see if I can get the camera. Um, closer to get a better overview. Oh, it has an LCD here. Probably tells you calories and stuff like that. This should be the amount of uh, resistance to the pedals. A lot nicer looking than the other one I have. Very, very clickety. And what do you think this is? Oh, this might be to, oh, this is probably to loosen and raise the front, which is that bar right there to put the desk on. And then the seat. So what do you think of the seat, son? It's more than I expect. It does not look comfortable on the slightest. But... Again, we're gonna, I'm gonna put a cover, a cushion, and uh, that should solve the issue. And I should also uh, say that it's like really small. Like It's, it's awkward. Than, yeah. It's, it's not like a normal seat no. at all. Does it go, oh, and it goes up and down. Do you have a knob on the other side? Is there a knob? No, there's no knob. So this knob right here, let me turn it. That would allow, I believe, the seat to go up and down. So turn it. Lefty Lucy, I hope. Hold on. Um, go ahead. See if it goes. No. Hold on. Let it go. So. I thought you. I don't know. I guess we got to read the instructions, but does it go up anymore? Oh, there it goes. Okay. So, oh, that's great. So it's it goes really oh. high. It comes right out. <laughs> there it is, right there. It came oh. out. Show, show off the hole. Hold that, please. So this is the whole seat right there. Like I said, it doesn't look very comfortable. Very hollow too. So, okay, let's put the seat back. This is the bottom, well, let me put the bottom, let me show off the bottom of the seat. I wonder if I could get a new seat. Maybe you could get a replacement seat, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. But at least you can take it off and try to replace it if you could, if people are having that much. Because that's what I heard mostly about the complaints. So, okay. And uh, let me get the front of it. So the front of it on, wait, wait, hold on. No, no, that's the front of it. The right side of the unit has the knob for the seat, one of the pedals. Doesn't seem like it's much to read. I don't know what this opening is here. It might just be for hollowness. Then um, the bottom is the, the legs that are gonna come out and I'm gonna pull them out so it can stand straight. And we're gonna put the uh, wheels on, but, and then I'll, we'll get a better look at the whole item as I spin it on the wheels. It looks like my wheels, which are these, the rollerblade wheels, don't fit. They don't fit at all. And I'm not using the ones that came with it because like I told you, the floors, it would destroy my wood floors. So I'm gonna keep the pegs that come inside of it, these pegs right here, and I'm gonna just put a, a piece of felt underneath and I'll basically just slide it around on the wood floor. So I'll put a piece of felt here and that'll keep it sliding with not with very little damage. This is rubbery, but in the middle is a, eh, it's a hard plastic. So it, I don't know, it might leave a, since it's a black rubber, it might leave black marks. You know, those streak marks you get on uh, basketball courts sometimes when you have certain types of shoes on there. So I'm looking to just put a cushion here and I could just slide it around. So again, not using these cause it'll destroy my wood floors. We have rugs, that's fine. But I wanted to put these on, but the, it doesn't fit. Doesn't, the peg is too thick here. 
I always put these on my chairs uh, on the wood floors. That way they just roll around. I'm not putting the wheels on right now. I'm just following the instructions. I'm bypassing the wheels. I've uh, glued the uh, felt to the ends of the tips here. So I'm going to end up putting that later. So for now, we'll just do everything else. And it's telling us to open these up. So let's open them up. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, go ahead. You have to wait till I lift it. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, I don't think you can close them once you've opened them. So it locks into place. So the legs lock into place. And I don't... Oh, I think this was supposed to have cushions. Oh, I don't know. I think this is, the cushions came off. I think it was supposed to have cushions. And somebody ripped it off. Okay, come. Let's turn it. So this is the spread of them. The, measure, let's measure real quick how far. They lock into place. I Take the end here. Open it up, right? Let it go, let it go and hold it here hold it up so roughing it it's probably i'm gonna say hold on one moment so again this is roughing it and it spreads probably uh about 21 inches wide or on each leg uh, to the middle about almost 10 10 inches from here to here is about uh, no you know what it's nine I'm gonna say nine over here okay let me get that and uh, let's do the thickness real quick so from top to bottom <clears throat> from there to there is about um, 17 is that what does it say 17 about 17 inch uh, from here to here, about 18 inches tall. So it's about 18 inches tall. Can you, if you add the top, that you can add another two with the seat. Okay, let it go. And uh, the thickness from top to bottom is about, uh, the thickness of it is roughing it, it's about four and a half inches. And it's about, uh, from front to back, uh, about two feet to two, two feet, 24 inches and a half. It's a rough estimate. The thickness, I don't know if I did it. It's about four inches thick. So you need a four inch space to slide it in between the sofa or end table. Okay, so now that we have the legs down, let's uh, lift it up, get a better view of the actual item. Oh, you know what, I almost forgot. Let me, uh, this is the desk. So let me measure the desk space so you have more of an idea of uh, how big the desk area is. So from top to bottom, 14 inches, 15 inches at the end, left to right, 18 inches. It's not very thick, just uh, you know, almost three quarters thickness, very heavy. This is the bottom of it, it comes with a metal piece right here, this is why it's so heavy. This will probably end up going on this, which will, you know what, let's just put it on. This is this item, that's the length of this is going to be uh, about that long, depending on where you want to end the measurement. Okay, and uh, so let's put it on. I gotta find the item that I'm supposed, so this is the inside of it. The actual item itself. And uh, let's put it here. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm bypassing the instructions because I'm supposed to stand it up, but 
Uh, yeah, that's this piece right here. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's instruction six. So I'm just gonna put it on for convenience. Uh, and I, is there supposed to be something else? I hope I'm not missing anything. Okay, I hope I have everything. <laughs> um, let me see what it says. Okay, so I don't know if they sent me a used item. I think it is used. I'll tell you why. Two reasons so far. This right here, I think it's supposed to have a cushion and whoever got it last ripped it apart and I think that's supposed to stay together. And over here, this was together. So this was set up like this. This was set up together like this and I think this piece is supposed to be in here coming out so I'm gonna have to take this out put this back in so I could screw this in so that I can screw it into the desk area so let me just do that really quickly So I don't know if it is used or I don't know if the instructions are bad, but I found that piece slid all the way down. I couldn't get it. I moved the desk. I couldn't get it. Maybe you could get this slide slid over, but basically that's supposed to be there. And I think you're supposed to put this over here and then put that. In what you do is you put this like this, right? And then you put this in like that. All right, that goes like that. And then this with the spring goes with the screw and the spring here. And then that goes, but that doesn't make any sense because then will you be able to tighten it? I don't know, let's see. This is the way it's supposed to go. Okay, yeah, locks it into place. You loosen it and it slides back and forth. Okay, you tighten it. Wait, that doesn't. Let me figure this out. Okay, this. So that was it, and that solved the issue. It was stuck. This slidey thing was all the way down here. I thought I was missing a piece and it stays like this. You screw this onto that like I showed you. And to tighten and loosen, it's tightened right now. You have to unloosen, right? And then now you can slide it back and forth. To tighten it up, you have to push down so that you could get a grip on this thing here push down and then turn it and that will help you for the tightness i've tightened this as much as i could no more and now it's tight so if you're having a problem tightening that's what it is you have to push up to get this tightened up okay so now let's put it back and i'll fast forward this also Let's put the desk up. Okay, it should go this way, hopefully. Okay, help me, son. Grab it on that end, slide it in. Okay, we have to, okay, hold it there, hold it there. Okay. And let me loosen this. Hold it, hold it, don't let it fall down because it's gonna just slam down. Hold on. Okay. 
Hold on one second. Hold on. I want to try to see if I can get it at its highest point. There it goes. Oh, wow. Great. All right. So I'm just going to do a quick measurement on its highest point. And that's going to be... So now let's measure. And I'm going to rough it again. Can you hold it? Try to hold it as steady as you could. Um, okay. You can let it go. Let me see. Wait. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, from top to bottom without any legs. It's about four feet high. The highest point. Four feet high from the desk to the to the table okay and now if we lower it it's lowest point so all you do i think all you do is pull this you pull this uh yep okay bring it hold it up there make sure it doesn't slam down and hold on. up okay see if it Okay, lift it up real quick. It's not lifting up either. Huh? You have to loosen it all the way. Okay, there we go. I got to loosen it a little bit. Okay, let it go. Keep going. I mean, I'm sorry. Don't let it go, please. Let it go down. Let it go. Okay, you let it go now. All right, and that is lowest point locked. This is how you lock it. We're not that tall here, so this should be good for us. Uh, three feet. It goes down to three feet, one foot lower. Okay, it looks pretty strong. And again, you slide this back and forth as much as you want. Uh, that's not good. Hold on one moment. We have to, yeah. I think that you, okay, so you tighten it, right? And then, okay, let me see. Oh. I'm pushing it the wrong way. Hold on. Can you uh, help me here? Can you push it forward? Wait, it's not. Uh, why is it not? Well, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, yeah. This. Yeah, I gotta figure this out. I gotta make sure I put this in right. I mean, so far so good. Let me just look at this further to see how this slides back and forth. Okay. Um, let's turn it around. See how. Well, you know what? Let me put the pedal on. So, let me put this one on. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's do the other side. Again, these are just my opinions and that's all they are. I could be wrong about them, but I, I gotta remove this because it's not letting all the way down. I think this is packaging material. It says something here about removing packaging material, but it doesn't tell you the details as to what the packaging material is. So I think it's this. I'm gonna remove it now. It's a piece of rubber. It's keeping it from sitting flat. And uh, these have screws on them. I don't know. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, so those two things are gone. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I think that gets removed. It's a piece of rubber. And now, we stand it back up on the legs. So let me do the, stand it up. Open it up. 
Okay, it's a little bit more flat and stable. I should be able to use the pegs. I don't want to use the wheels. This is the other side. We, my son put this one in and this one, you know, we used to righty tidy, lefty loosey. In this situation, the other side is lefty tidy and righty loosey. So if you're having problems putting this pedal in, that's what it is. So let's look in the back. And in the back it has, it's made in China. Uh, exercise bike A90184BK, color black, made in China. That's what it says back there. The video's not capturing it. This is the thickness of it. It's pretty cool. I like the way you're able to slide it around and everything. We're gonna put it on the floor next after we get everything uh, put together, which will be pretty cool. And uh, let's turn it sideways again. And there are metal parts to this item, but most of it is plastic. This is all plastic. They're trying to keep it as light as possible. This is metal, plastic, plastic, plastic covering, but metal underneath, metal here on the arm for the desk. The desk is wood. Uh, the seat, it's pretty cool. So now let's uh, put it on the floor and see how it works. It looks like I, it's my bad, I made a mistake. It looks like I forgot to put the washer on here and this is why it's not working correctly. I believe the washer's gotta go on the other side, so let me do that. So I have to put the washer here, it goes here and then It goes here. Uh, I don't know why it's not loosening. I gotta figure this out. All right. You're gonna help me. Bring it down in one moment, so. Okay, this is a look at the bike. Bring it down off the table and set it up. These are all the tools I used that I needed to put it together. These two things come with it, so no issues with that. And I needed a couple of these tools just to, uh, the flathead and the Phillips screwdriver pair of scissors. These are the wheels that came with it. And these are the pegs that were in or on the bottom there. And this is what I'm gonna use. My wife told me no, this will definitely make marks on the floor. So this is a no-no. And I'm gonna be using this. So these are the pegs that it came with. I put glue to make sure that it doesn't slide off because you know that the double-sided tape, when you're moving these around like crazy, they end up coming off and I don't want any issues with the floor. My wife will not be very happy. Remember, happy wife, happy life. So. I put the Velcro, I'm gonna wait for it to dry. I put um, Gorilla Glue, clear. And today, which is great, I got the chair. This is the seat. And uh, you know, let me just open it up right here and so take a look at it. And I'll leave the link down below of this item. I'm using it for the bike. I know it's a weird fit. I'm hoping it fits. Uh, it might. It might let me wrap it around and do it now so you can see it and see if it helps this will be down below too i think i paid about six seven dollars for this thing so it wasn't too much of a cost but it's much more cushiony this space here lets you breathe see as this is flat and that's what causes a lot of the pain and sweating and everything this will allow you to breathe not sweat and the cushion will keep your tushy cushy 
And it came in this pack. Well, it came in in, in uh, envelope and one of those Amazon envelopes. And this is it right here. This is what it's called. And I'll leave the link below too if you're interested. So let me put it together and see if it works. See if I can get it on with one hand. You know what? Let me get help. Yeah, it's cold. Um, can you close the door, please? So the this is cushion. The uh, the inside of the cushioning area. It's got the uh, strap, so you can put it on and uh, keep it from falling off or sliding off. Okay, can you hold this, son? My son's gonna help me by holding and put it together. Okay. My son's a little cold. It's only about 20 degrees. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Uh, just face this over here. Just face there. Okay. So let's put it on. Uh, and let me just, yeah, I know. Let me see what I can do. So let me just put this down. Let me, Put this up, and yes, I think it's too tiny. Ah. Well, let me see if I can figure something out with this. No, I know, but I was hoping that it could strap around it. Uh, okay, let me see what I could do. Okay, you can stop. I'm gonna try one thing. I'm gonna take these screws off from the chair and try to wrap it around the cushion. So I'm gonna remove this and put it underneath that because that's the hardest part I'm getting is I can't get it underneath that hard place. This is more cushiony, the seat on top. I'm gonna remove that, these four screws. Let me see if that well works. They're Phillips head screwdrivers, screws. Bieber bike seat cover memory breathable sponge plus liquor fabric bike saddle cushion black by Bieber cost $6.99 currently unavailable. We don't know when or if this item will be back in stock one. Soft and comfortable. Using high quality memory cotton and liquor fabric to provide you with a more comfortable riding experience too. Simple installation. Cover. Titan. You can three. Suitable for most models. Most models are suitable for. Long lasting use without fatigue. Traditional hard saddle pads are easy to feel tired. But can reduce fatigue after adding a soft pad 5. Perfect after sales. We offer a six month warranty. If you have any questions about product quality, please contact us. Product details shipping weight 4 ounces Austin B07X54KXCT. I fast forwarded the event. I ended up being able to. As you saw, cut this. Since it was only 5 or $6, I didn't care. It's meant for this and that's all I wanted. The only thing is that it, the modification caused me to have to push down really hard. So I waited for uh, a friend of mine to, he's over 200 pounds, to push down on it. And he was I was able to get all the screws screwed in properly. And what it did is it pinched the ends of the seat. Now, you don't have to do this. I did this. I need this. I know that these seats for the bikes hurt. They hurt. I use it a lot. I'm talking about I might ride for an hour, two hours, and forget because I'm playing a game or watching TV or on my computer editing a video. So that's why I like the, the uh, desk version because it makes you actually forget what you're doing and you don't even know you're... You get into it and you get sort of like that runner's high type of thing. And you just keep going without no issues whatsoever. So I'm so preoccupied with doing something else that I don't know that I'm actually running and burning off lots of calories. So this has helped me lose weight. I have, um, as per doctor's orders, I'm back down to my normal weight. I wasn't really heavy, probably about 15 pounds over. But I was able to get back down to my normal weight. So it really helps in exercising at home, especially right now. So let me put this in. And you know, it's, it's you, I, you need this cushion. If you use the regular seat that comes with it, it will hurt. So hopefully this will work. Hopefully the cheeks will land here and you'll be able to use it. 
it seems fine so let's hope it does work if you saw I accidentally put the screws back without putting the pole don't forget to put this pole when you're putting this on okay I forgot to do that I screwed the screws in but I forgot to put this pole but it did help me put these in these screws here helped me put these in and you know I didn't pop all out when I had to take them out again but you don't want to take them out I used a screwdriver at the one setting and it worked uh, I'm sorry electric screwdriver this is an allen key screw and that's a regular phillips screw so that's how it works so again it's up to you if you want to do this i'm always going to do this on my exercise bikes i need to do it like i said i don't like the seats that come with it and it's very uncomfortable and i'm hoping that this actually works the lap the other desk that i have is about three four years old and i love it it's great my wife loves it my kid loves it and we all use it my daughter's too little to use it but she'll eventually get on it also and we beat the crap out of that one so i'm hoping this one we don't beat it up so much but the reason it's beat up is because we use it a lot so i'm hoping i'm going to try it out use it come back let you know who likes it who doesn't the pros and cons of it i already love the fact that i can put this away in a closet slide it between a sofa and an end table uh, close those legs take these two pieces out leave it in a closet slide this over to the side uh, that is great i mean especially if you're in an apartment right now i'm in a home but this will be probably going to an apartment and this will work there much better than the other one i have there because it'll be easy to put off to the side behind a sofa or something and be able to have more room because apartments in new york city space is a prime so we don't want to use up too much space but this is this is one thing that i think i'll always have in my home as it really promotes exercising especially when you have it in your living room facing you you know you sit in there you grab your bag of chips and you're like you know what let me exercise while i'm eating these bag of chips hey it's better than not doing it at all and just sitting on the sofa so it really helps in that mindset you actually you know gonna burn off calories and go ahead eat you know but um you're able to use this you're able to use this with the family in the same place it's no noise less noise you're not going to a workout area and it helps it doesn't hurt at all Suzier 2-in-1 stationary exercise bike and tabletop workstation with LCD monitor, 8-level magnetic resistant by Suzier, cost, $89.99, color, white or black workout while you work, this 2-in-1 recumbent bike and workstation frees your hand from the normal exercise bike and makes exercise with no excuses, it features full motion desktop that adjusts up, down, forward and backward to the perfect position for working, studying, or reading while you exercise and can hold laptop and books up to 22 pounds, also fits for a standing desk or a bar table, just remove the tray, push your resistance, equipped with 8 level adjustable magnetic resistance system that provides more customization for your exercise, smooth pedaling with super quiet flywheels make exercise possible without worrying about disturbing families and co-workers, Know where you stand, ER, sit, built-in LCD digital display shows time, speed, distance and calories burned, allowing you to track your workout data and be fully aware of your workout progress and goals, guests will never know, when done exercising, this exercise bike is so compact and hardly takes up any space, four swivel wheels with brakes makes it easy to move and keep stable during use, both the pedals and the base are collapsible for easy storage. Comfort first, everyone in the family can comfortably use this desk bike. The user-friendly pneumatic adjustment lever moves the desk bike seat up or down with a knob to adjust. Hold up to 265 pounds product description. Too busy working all day with no time to exercise? 
Our Susier Exercise Bike with a workstation makes exercise possible while working or play, featuring a full motion desktop for holding your laptop or tablet. Turn this exercise bike into your favorite work spot, depending on how challenged you are. Adjust the resistance between eight distinct levels. Track your exercise with a built-in LCD display that shows time, speed, distance, and calories burned. The adjustable seat height makes it possible for all family members to enjoy this exercise bike. You can easily exercise and work on a puzzle, catch up on crafts, read a novel, hold a meeting, or get some work done. With low impact to your knees, this exercise bike will is your ideal choice for indoor exercise. Features Includes full motion desktop that adjusts up, down, forward, and backward to the perfect position for working, studying, or reading. Removable tabletop helps the bike fit near a standing desk or a bar table. 8. Level Adjustable Magnetic Resistance System provides customized exercise. Track your exercise with built in LCD digital display. Features a height adjustable seat for swivel wheels with brakes makes it easy to move and keep stable during use. Collapsible pedals and base. Easy assembly required. Specifications. Material. Steel. ABS. MDF. Overall dimensions. 18.5 inches WX 36.25 minus 38.25 inches DX 38.5 minus 49.5 inches H. Table size. 18.5 inches WX 15 inches D. Suit size. 10.5 inches WX 7 inches D, suit to floor height, 22.25 minus 33 inches max weight capacity, 265 pounds, net weight, 52.8 pounds, product details color, white shipping weight, 57.2 pounds Austin, B081JR4NSB. After using this for a day or two, I've got to tell you, I really like it. It's very convenient to have, easy to put away, store away, slide around. I left, I didn't put the wheels underneath because of the floors, it would probably scrape them. But I've got to tell you that I really, really like this thing. It's very convenient, I use it a lot. I'm going to definitely be using this like crazy. This is really nice, it seems smooth. I'm hoping that um, it doesn't... A lot of these bikes, this is probably my third one I've owned, where uh, what happens is after using it for a while, the actual pedal area starts to give way, uh, pieces start coming loose inside the device itself. It'll still work, but you'll hear noise and scrapes and you know as you're pedaling. Um, I'm hoping, this seems to be really smooth. I don't know what's inside, how it, how it is, how, whether it's belt driven or sprocket, driven or whatever but I really really like it this is display in the middle I'm still trying to figure that out um, I really am not looking at that I just basically uh, put it at a certain setting uh, you have choices from one to eight eight being the hardest one being the easiest I might do six for an hour and uh, that'll be enough for the day while I'm watching TV using the computer my iPad reading emails it's very convenient because what happens is, um, I don't know if this would happen with you, but I know when I'm looking at emails, reading things, playing games, I forget what I'm doing in regards to exercising when I'm actually preoccupied. Well, I'm either reading, a, a, I could be reading a book, I could be reading an email, I could be watching the news, I could be playing a game, and or listening to an audio book, or listening to something like podcasts, and the bike, because it's conveniently located in the living room, I'm more likely to get on it while I'm doing this, and I forget that I'm actually doing it. So it helps me exercise, it helps my heart rate get up, and it, it, it just really, really helps, you know? Um, as you get older, uh, you're gonna get told by the doctor to take care of yourself, exercise, and even if you stay home a lot, you should still find a way to exercise, so I'm using this, the sit-up machine, I'll do push-ups and things like that. I'll take walks around the neighborhood just to get uh, some exercise. It's good, you know, it's just uh, the uh, facts of life. As you get older, you know, you got to take care of yourself, you got to exercise, and this is one of the things I do. It's convenient for me to use it, and it's uh, um, easy to do, easy to use. It works, 
I get my exercise in and uh, it's great. I really like it. It's uh, a great machine. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it was informative. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye.